Hello, Susan Elliott again from Keller Williams Realty Elite Partners 2 out of Inverness, Florida. And I'm here again today for 55places.com where I am a partner agent. And so my purpose today is to show this buyer Terra Vista. And I'm currently in the Hunt Club community and I am here to show you 1104 West Beagle Run Loop and here it is isn't that stunning look at that gorgeous tile roof this home was built in 2012 and I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna present this video for you as a buyer's advocate this is not gonna be one of those three to five minute videos where the camera just flies through the house oh no this is going to be fully detailed showing you every bit of landscaping that is around the home we'll be looking for any uh, settlement issues and with this being a 2012 built home i doubt that there's going to be any settlement issues now this home is sitting right in terra vista this is a resort style living community what that means to you is that if you could picture being or staying at one of the Disneyland or Disney World resorts, that's what it's like here, folks, stay, living in Terra Vista. This is uh, beautifully maintained and taken care of um, by Terra Vista POA, and it has five-star amenities in here. Okay, so we're gonna start with looking at the front of the home and then we're gonna go completely around the home so that you can see everything. So I wanna point out this beautiful stacked rock uh, facing on the front here. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's a lot of custom details in this home. And look at the beautiful curbing um, around this very, very um, um, well thought out landscaping, very low maintenance. Uh, for the uh, homeowner so you can still go on all of your fun trips so that's a great plan isn't it folks okay so here we are we're going around the side of the home where you see your meter and I'm going to show you up here this is a concrete block stucco home and as you can see um, it's exquisitely taken care of okay there we go at that and now tile roof as everyone knows is about a 50-year roof and this was built in 2012 so no uh, don't even have to think about the roof for quite a very long time okay here is your ginormous AC and this is also 2012 AC in fact all of the equipment in the home is the original from 2012 and I understand that this home has um, what's called a uh, tankless water heater as well. And this home, the square feet of this home is 2366 square feet. And it's sitting on almost three tenths of an acre. It's 0 0.27. It's another gorgeous palm tree for your classic Florida living. Okay, look at this. How easy is this gonna is this gonna be to take care of this? It pretty much takes care of itself. Just have the lawn mowed and have some edging done occasionally. So now we're entering the backyard where you get to see other fabulous palm trees. These palm trees are very expensive. <laughs> so so uh, this is a great uh, a great value booster right here. And there's your screened in lanai. Okay. And there's all of your privacy hedges. Right there. And more of that beautiful curbing to keep that just that really polished, finished look. Beautiful flowering tree. Isn't this so lovely? Got some uh, solar lighting out here. Okay. Apparently, these bushes attract butterflies. 
I love butterflies. Oh, look at this tree back here. This is in your backyard, folks. All that gorgeous Spanish moss. Oh, love it. Love it. It's beautiful. Okay. And this window right here is to the master bedroom. And there's your screen door on the other side of your lanai. Okay, beautiful stone path stones there. And we're coming around on the other side of the home. Fantastic. Okay, so let me tell you about the social membership here in Terra Vista. Um, it it is a $2,000 refundable deposit at closing, and then you get that back when you go to sell your home. And then um, there's a $142 a month social membership fee. Oh, look at that. Oh, love that palm tree. And what that pays for, and there's your two-car side entry garage. Isn't that nice? And you've got this nice turn turnaround slab here. Very easy and in and out of your garage. Isn't that wonderful? Not only that, you can use this for extra parking space for your friends to come over and visit. So there's the other side of the front of the house with more self-maintaining landscaping and some more of that beautiful stacked, stacked rock decoration there on the house. Okay. Okay, so for the $142 a month, you get five-star amenities. You have a spa. You have a park with a dog park and bocce ball. You have indoor Olympic-sized lap pool and an outdoor Olympic-sized lap pool. Day spa with facials and manicures and pedicures and massages. We're coming up on your entry here. It's beautiful paver, pavers here coming up to the entry and gorgeous leaded glass. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. And that beautiful transom window. Okay. Let's go inside. And I'll tell you more about Terra Vista in a little bit. The amenities okay so we're standing in the entryway and it looks to be approximately 18 you know, about 24 inch ceramic tiles throughout throughout okay and you look above you and look at that chandelier and that gorgeous tray ceiling isn't that awesome Oh, it's beautiful. And there's such a feeling of tranquility in here. It's just totally peaceful when you walk in here. It's a great feeling. You, you, you definitely can get a vibe off of homes. That's for sure. Okay. Now we're walking through and we're going to look at this home from the left to right. So from your entryway, you're looking forward to your living area. Okay, and we'll explore that some more in a little bit. And then to the left of your living area is your formal dining area. And I'll get up close to uh, the chandelier and everything so you can see how that looks too. So you've got beautiful extra tall um, cove base here. And then you've got all the beautiful detailed crown molding all throughout. See there? And then you've got these nice wooden columns here that designate where your formal dining area is. Ex just, you know, elegantly, doesn't it? Okay, so here's the up close of your chandelier. And by the way, if you're interested in purchasing the furniture, I do want to try to... I usually don't include furniture in my videos, but 
this is all so exquisite. And if she does, if, uh, if the seller does want to sell the furniture, I want you to be able to see the pieces that you might ask for, ask to purchase in addition to the home, okay? All right, so that's the formal dining area. And here we are again. This is your entry area with that amazing chandelier. So beautiful. And so we're going left to right in this home, as I said before. The first room here on the left, this Mrs. Holmes, Mrs. Seller is using this home kind of like a den, like a beautiful little seating area. However, this is definitely a bedroom as well. Okay, there you have the beautiful ceiling fan and all of the beautiful crown molding. And all of these window treatments, with the exception of the master bedroom, will convey with the home. However, if you do not want them, the seller will take them with her, okay? So she's got beautiful white brocade um, pieces of furniture in here. And this, folks, this is bamboo wood. This is real bamboo hardwood floors in this room. Beautiful, huh? And this room is definitely a bedroom. It does have a closet in here. And I want you to also note the eight-foot doorways. And then that means the ceilings have got to be 12 feet tall in my estimation. Let's see if that's eight. No, that might be 20 feet. I'm kind of on the short side, so I <laughs> could be wrong. All righty. Oh, and I want you to note here um, throughout the home, you've got these art nooks in the wall. These beautiful touches of architecture, customization, and these, round, these rounded corners on the walls. See there? Isn't that lovely? Okay, continuing to go left. We're going to go down this uh, short hallway here. I'm going to give you a little scan of this, all right? And the first door on our left down this little hall is the guest bathroom. So you can look at the beautiful wood vanity. And those countertops are Corian, nice and resilient um, against, against water puddles. So if your guests leave water puddles, it's not going to damage these, like, like granite can get damaged. Then you've got these uh, decorative, this decorative lighting, and there's crown molding in every room in this house. Every room. Okay. And it looks like you've got a high boy toilet here for comfort. Wonderful. Okay. You get the same tile flooring in here. Look at these beautiful towel racks. I mean, so much detail in here. And then the beautiful tiling that's in here in the shower. And I'm going to step back. Notice the professional decor in here as well. The shower curtain and such. Okay, and there's the rest. The tub and the shower. All right, and nice window in here as well. Okay, so let's try not to make you dizzy. And let's come back out. Now we're going to continue down the hallway left to the second guest bedroom. Also has bamboo wood floors. Okay. Has one window on the right side of the bed and a second larger window that faces the front. Okay. Crown molding. Beautiful ceiling fan. Okay. Good sized room. This is big. I'm going to give us a, a walkabout through here. So I'm going to come in and scan the room this way. Got a nice large uh, closet there. That's the full length of that whole wall right there. And it's a little bit deep and very tall inside. Plenty of storage space in there. Okay, now let's walk around. And uh, as I said, I usually don't include furniture in my videos, but 
with this particular buyer that I'm helping him see every detail of this home, he's considering um, asking to purchase the furniture. So I want to make sure that he gets to see it. Okay, and there's the window treatments. Isn't that lovely? Everything has been professionally decorated and custom made for this home. Awesome. Okay, so you can see this, this is no small bedroom. Eight foot doorways. So this, this ceiling in here then is definitely a 10 foot ceiling. But that other room, that was definitely a 20 foot ceiling in my estimation. Okay, coming back out of the hallway to the left is that formal dining room that we looked at before. I'll let you check it out again. Beautiful painting in here, isn't it? Okay. All right, we're gonna keep continue to follow this beautiful ceramic tile flooring. And the living area, as you can see, has the bamboo wood flooring. It's a really nice way to designate an area or delineate, if you'd rather use that word. Crown molding all around. Beautiful ceiling fan, super quiet. Gorgeous light on it. Okay. You can use that whole wall for your entertainment center if you want. Now, what's great about this is having, having that wall right there where you can put your um, widescreen TV, you've got, that is directly across from the open kitchen. So while you're cooking up your food, you can still watch your game or your show, all right? And we'll go explore that kitchen in just a bit. What we're gonna do instead is go this way because just off of your living area is your master bedroom. And in your master bedroom, you also have the bamboo wood flooring. And this huge window with your beautiful view out of your back and in, into your backyard. Remember how we walked around and saw this huge window? So these are the curtains, folks, that will not convey with the home. Okay, so these will not, these curtains and the, the window treatment. However, the vertical blinds, they will. They'll stay with the home. Okay, every room has the tall cove base, which is an upgrade in any home that you build. Of course, cove, I'm sorry. Um, Crown molding all throughout here, all right? Oh, it's just got gorgeous, gorgeous furniture. Isn't that beautiful? And I believe that's great. Yep, it's cold, so it's a stone top. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful mirror and table. Okay, armoire, mirrored armoire. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, and another end table with the stone top. Okay, like I said, I usually don't include furniture. All righty, so there is a, a short hallway off of your master bedroom and leading to your master bathroom. And on either side, you've got two walk-in closets. That have got to be uh, 14 feet tall. On the other side, matching closet. No, 10 feet tall. I told you I'm short, so my estimations of height are a little off. Then you've got this decorative tiling in here. You see how they insert, put those little inserts in here? That's lovely. And what's great about that is those inserts there help to tie in these beautiful vanities. You've got a window in here with a, another lovely window treatment. And again, ornate towel racks. That's beautiful. Love those. 
Okay, so you've got plenty of drawers. This is vanity number one in your master bathroom. Okay, vanity number two in your master bathroom. Again, with that attractive lighting, plenty of drawers. Okay, and then your water closet is right here. Nice and tall and spacious in there so you don't get claustrophobic. That's always a plus for me. Okay, looks like another tall boy toilet for comfort. Okay. And then there's a nice linen closet in here. Plenty of storage space, goes all the way up, 10 feet up. Plenty of storage space. And then your walk-in shower with a glass door. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful tile work in here. Spotless, wonderfully maintained, nice and clean. A nice uh, seating bench there. That beautiful. Look at the detail in the tiling. Like this. Okay. Now, when you look at this side where the uh, rain shower head is, you're like, where are the controls? Well, the controls are over here so that you can stand over here, turn on the water, so that if it comes out cold or hot or something, you're not gonna get blasted with it. So they're on the side there. Okay. Coming back out of the master bathroom, past those two walk-in closets, out of the master bedroom. And now, and there's your living area that looks directly into your gorgeous open kitchen and, bre and um, breakfast nook area. But just right here off of your uh, living area, you've got, you've got two, you've got tri sliders. So you can uh, open this all up to your screened in lanai out there. And I gotta be honest, folks, I could not figure out how to work the locks on the doors, so I couldn't open them for you. So we're just gonna look through the windows, okay? But you got a beautiful um, ceiling fan out there. You can just picture sitting out there looking at those butterflies that we saw earlier, watching them, cooking up some burgers, having an evening cocktail, perhaps. Yeah. I I could envision that. I'm sure anyone can. Okay, we're about near the end of our video here. So here is your kitchen. You have this wonderful L-shaped breakfast bar. Um, oh, often here's another art nook in your, in your living area here. A really big one in here. Okay. And you've got this gorgeous granite counters here. Beautiful. All right. And again, see the rounded corners, love that. If you're interested in asking about these stool chairs, there they are. And you've seen the living room furniture. It's like a lazy boy sofa. You've got two of them that will lean back, another lazy boy chair. So, beautiful furniture. If you wanna ask her, she will part with it. Here is your breakfast nook. Nice little round table, a matching chandelier to your formal dining area, okay. And here's a beautiful hutch. All right, so here in your kitchen, here's what you have. You have gorgeous, um, it looks like deep chestnut cabinets. And then um, one large deep sink and one smaller one. That's where you're throwing all of your vegetable uh, peelings and such and your garbage disposal. And then you've got the pull out um, hardware here on the sink, okay? Beautiful 42 inch custom cabinetry, all right? 
And your dishwasher is here. Okay, tons of drawers beside that. Here's your oven that's on the wall, okay? With two cabinets just above that. And then cabinets below with a nice pullout, as you can see there. Then your island here has the same granite top with cabinets and drawers. Okay. And it has, it's powered also. Okay. Then over here, look at all of those cabinets and the two and the three huge drawers beneath your gas cooktop inside of your gorgeous granite counter. And look at your beautiful backsplash. Love that. And your microwave hood and your 42 inch cabinets. And then this wonderful refrigerator. This, this type of refrigerator is pretty much what everybody wants. They want the freezer on the bottom so, so it's easy to pull out and get into and it stores a whole lot in there. Okay, and then, uh, then, then two French door regular ref uh, refrigeration areas here. And of course with water and ice in the door. More cabinets above that. And then you have this wonderfully sized pantry that um, looks to be, yep, that's probably, yeah, that's 10 feet tall. Okay, plenty of storage area in there. It's the entire wall. So it goes deep into the sides also, as you can see, okay? Then you've got this other, across from that, another utility closet to keep your vacuum and brooms and all of that in there. And then off of your kitchen, just past your pantry, is your laundry room. Has the same beautiful ceramic tile flooring, okay? It's got a, a wet sink here. Look at all of the cabinetry and drawers and tons of cabinets. Look at that. Wonderful. And let me see if I'll have to verify and confirm that the washer and dryer will convey. So if you want to find that out, just contact me. Okay, so there's enough room in here, folks, where they also set up a full-size desk and another like dresser drawers in here too. So this is a big laundry room as you can see. It's big. So through your laundry room is your oversized garage. Now this is a two-car garage however you've got all of this space here for either a workspace or storage. Okay. The floor has um, that, oh, look at the extra storage space up here. You've got these loft style storage racks. One above the uh, two car garage door and another one over there. Plenty of storage space here, okay. I want you to look at the epoxy finish flooring. It's in wonderful condition, and as you can see, the sellers have kept carpet down to keep the floor nice and clean. They just love to maintain their home. Okay, and you've got your pull-down stairs for more attic space. Wonderful windows in here as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you um, a scan of this. So you can see the size of this garage. Look at that. This is a big garage. You got plenty of space. No settlement cracks on the walls, folks. Nothing at all. This is a good, sturdy, pristine home. And from here, you can see 
how far back that workspace area or storage area, however you want to use it, goes. Okay. And how deep the garage is, see? It's a big garage. Okay. Well, we have covered it all. So I'm coming back out of the garage into the big laundry room. Let you see this angle of it. It's a big room, big room. All right, folks, I'm Susan Elliott with Keller Williams Realty, Elite Partners 2 out of Inverness, Florida. I'm also partner agent with 55places.com. And so I am one of their hand-selected agents that specializes in Hernando County, Citrus County, Marion County, and all of the age-targeted and age-restricted communities, and also all of the other nice communities that I had discovered before I became a partner agent with 55places.com. And so it is my job to help orientate all of these buyers that are coming to Florida to purchase their retirement home and settle down in their dream home and help them find just the right home, just the right community, and just the right price. Thanks again for taking your time to watch my video and watch, um, be on the outlook for more videos coming up soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.